contested confession, millions of dollars. Marty, who was 17 when his parents met their untimely deaths, was adopted when three as days the old. the defendant, Martin Tankless, as to count two, murder, second degree, guilty. I think the age difference was so great that he felt more like my son than my brother. Um, a nightmare, uh, devastation, um, something you, you couldn't imagine. Um, I started screaming and yelling. He's gushing blood. <laughs> All right, listen to me. Is this in private house? Yes, it is. When I first All got right, to now. the scene, I believe there were three police officers uh, at the scene. They, um, it was about eight, about 8.35 in the morning. The inconsistencies in the evidence that I saw and the story that he told. McCready took off running. Dialed the extension for the desk closest to the interview room. And when that rang, I got up and walked over there and answered my own phone call. They just told me that your father, they pumped him full of uh, adrenaline, and uh, they came out of the coma, and he's saying that you, Marty, you're the one that did it. I received a call from Mike Fox, who was very close to Seymour uh, Tancliffe and the entire family. He called me, I guess, about uh, 12.45, 1 o'clock in the public perception afternoon. than we were of anything else. The problem he created for us was not that, uh, that we had to prove that he's now the murderer, okay? What we, what the problem he created for us was that we had to do 10 times the work to prove that he wasn't the murderer. Um, and, and murderer. People saying that he might be a suspect, but the Jerry police did not. Jerry really wanted to get lost. They wouldn't have found him. I know Jerry was, was you know, he did crazy things. That. Because I've had just about enough. My ex-husband went into business with Jim McCready. Yeah, actually, it was my money. Um, but that was my husband at the time, and um, I, uh, <laughs> you know, I did what I felt that I had to do to try and salvage my disintegrated well, marriage, your parents. I guess. They've been brutally murdered. You're innocent, and yet you're charged with the murders. And after eight days of deliberations, the jury has found you guilty of these crimes you're about to spend the rest of your life in prison. I've never arrested an innocent man in my life. I never will. But I'm innocent. Ever. You know, and there's somebody out there or some people who know the truth. You know, I still for my think sake. That justice will be done. I don't know when or where, but ultimately the truth Sadly, will come out about this. The case. two people who could answer the question as to what happened that morning have been silenced forever. Thank you.